So you guys want to learn how to play claw? Well, then you've definitely come to the right place because I've been playing claw for like three years now and I've gone through that progression of learning claw. Okay, so let's start from the basics. How long does it take to learn claw? Learning how to play claw takes around one to two weeks depending on how much you play per day. So if you play around two hours per day, it'll only take you around a week to learn claw. Now we are humans and everyone is a little different. So some people could possibly learn claw in three days and for some it could take three weeks. What I'm trying to say though is that everyone can learn claw. Now why do people even play claw? Why do you have to learn it? The reason why many of the best controller players out there play claw is simply because playing claw has so many more advantages compared to non-claw and the main advantages you have over non-claw players is that you're able to do whatever you basically want without having to take your thumbs off the joystick. Now this tutorial is pretty much for every single game out there because playing claw doesn't limit you to just play one game with claw. You can literally play every single game out there with claw but this video is going to be Fortnite based because I personally play Fortnite and the advantages that you have when you play claw in Fortnite is that you're able to jump, pull out your builds, edit, do whatever you want all at the same time without having to take your thumbs off the joystick. There's probably over 10 different types of claw you can play and a big question might be what type of claw should you learn then? I play right hand claw as you guys can see from the hand cam which means that I press all of these buttons with my right index finger. You can also play left hand claw which is the same as right hand claw just the opposite or you can play double claw so you use both of your index fingers for these buttons here. These are the ones that I recommend for you guys because these are the most popular claws. Personally like I said I went with right hand claw because it's the most popular and I've optimized my binds in game in a way where I don't have to take my left thumb off the joystick in any type of situation. Because just playing right hand claw allows me to do that. And that's gonna be the case for most of you guys as well. So yes, I recommend all of you guys to learn right hand claw if you don't know which claw to choose. Okay, so now you know the basics of claw and you know what claw you wanna play. Now the next question is how do you grip the controller exactly and how do you practice claw? First, let's begin with how do you grip the controller? As you guys know already, I personally play right hand claw. So I'm gonna go in depth with right hand claw. But these tips for right hand claw also work for any type of claw. Okay, so this is how you normally play when you play non-claw. You have six fingers at the back and you press all of these buttons with your thumbs. But then you switch to claw and you have to start pressing all of these buttons with your index finger. So what finger should you press these buttons with then? Answer is your middle finger. So when you learn claw, you have to learn how to press these buttons with your index finger and these buttons with your middle finger. Okay, so now you know where to put your fingers on the controller. However, this is gonna feel really, really weird at first. But I'm about to save you many hours with this one simple tip that a lot of people don't know. Pay attention to my wrist. This is how my wrist looks when I play non-claw and this is how my wrist looks when I play claw. Do you guys see that movement? I'm not only changing my hand posture, I'm also changing my wrist and my entire arm posture. And that is a tip that's gonna save you many hours. When you start playing claw, also rotate your wrist a little bit to the side and do not just move your hands from here to here because this is gonna be really awkward. You also have to rotate your arm and your wrist. As you guys can see, I'm kind of gripping my controller from the side. It's not directly under the controller, it's kind of from the side around here. Finding how to locate your fingers and arm and your wrist is gonna take a little bit of time. You're gonna need some practice and you're gonna need some patience. The more you're practice, the better you get. Now, when you first start playing claw, it's gonna hurt a little bit. It hurts for everybody because your fingers and hands are getting used to a new position they're not used to being. So yeah, don't worry guys, that's completely normal. But basically, the more you play claw, the less pain you're gonna start to have. However, here are some hand stretches that I recommend for you guys to do every single time you get on and you get off. I personally do this all the time myself as well. The first stretch is a basic stretch for your arm and your wrist. You basically grab your hand with your other hand and you just pull your hand back like this. And you wanna hold your hand in in that position for around five to ten seconds for each arm then you want to do that again but for the other side of your arm so like this and yet again five to ten seconds for both hands then after that i stretch each of my fingers like this so basically the same exact method as for your wrist and your arm but now just for your fingers and i do this for all of my fingers for around five to ten seconds again okay so what is the best type of way to practice claw and how do you get better as fast as possible basically you want to put all your time and effort when you play into practicing mechanics if you don't play fortnite and you play some other games Game, then practicing mechanics basically means going into a private game and playing against bots like in Call of Duty. But if you play Fortnite, you have a lot more options. And here are my best claw practice routines for you guys. Okay, so basically, in my opinion, the best and fastest way to improve your mechanics is literally just free building, hopping into creative and just starting to mess around and learning different types of high ground retakes. The secret to getting insane mechanics at this game is basically just free building a lot. If you guys need some new retakes to practice, I'm gonna link a video down below in the description that I've done. However, not everyone is into free building and 
and free editing and doing all of this kind of mechanical stuff. And for those people, I have a couple of creative islands that I've used to get better at this game. And I'm gonna share those to you guys right now. The first creative map I have for practicing claw is this realistic edit map. The code is right there on the screen right now. And yeah, let me show you guys how this works. Okay, so put in the code and then you load into the map. Then you wanna pick up a shotgun and then you can choose what you wanna practice. You can practice realistic edits or peace control. I'm gonna go into realistic edits and here we have a bunch of different stuff you can practice. For an example, here's double edits. Boom. And here is double edit drop down. And so on. Then the next creative map I have for you guys is on the screen right now. You can see the code as well. Here you have a bunch of different edit courses you can do. Since you're just starting to learn how to play Claw, you might want to go to level one, which is easy. Then you just press this button to start. And then you start completing the edit course. You want to play these edit courses and these creative maps as much as possible. Because this is how you easily learn Claw in just a week if you play two hours a day. These maps are focused on practicing your mechanics. And that's exactly what you want when you start playing Claw. Now, last but not least, I want to go over what I think are the best settings for Claw in Fortnite. Basically, you want to have your edit button on one of these buttons here because since you now play claw these buttons here are going to be really easy to press i personally use triangle and honestly for the rest of these basic settings here it doesn't really matter what you use since you now play claw you're able to do pretty much anything you want without having to take your thumb off the joystick then we come down to your edit controls and here i recommend binding your confirm select and reset edit to these buttons here at the back of your controller. So your triggers and your bumpers. These are all really easy to access because you have your fingers here all the time. And yeah, this is how I've binded my controls here. And yeah, that's it for the settings. Nothing too major. I just wanted to give out a couple of easy tips. Again, because now you play claw, you have so much more freedom over your binds. Basically, any binds work. You just want to find out what is the most comfortable for you. And for the rest of this video, I'm going to leave some hand cam gameplay on the background so that you guys can get a good idea of how you should play claw and how you should grip your controller. You got right there. Cracked. Dead, let's go. Cracked. Oh my, get laser. There's another person right in front of us. No way, he's launch padding from me. 2020. I'm going after this kid, I don't care. What, there's another person here? Dude, he's so weak. Right, there we go, let's go. I see a person right in front of me, dude. Dude, he's holy. Got him? There's another person on me. Boxed. How do I miss that, bro? Hit him. He's so weak. Let's go, there we go. I hear someone. Oh my, dude, this guy just- He almost just scared the hell out of me. My high ground now, boy. He's literally just crouching all over the place. And now I get sniped by someone else, of course. Cracked. Oh my, dude, get out of my game. This new gun are literally so OP. I hear the other person on me now. Oh my god, he got beamed. Let's go, I stole this guy's kill. Where is he? Hit him. Hit him again. Dude, I'm gonna run out of math soon. Oh, I cracked him. He's launch padding, bro. Are you kidding me? Oh my. He just had to launch pad and he just had to fall damage, bro. Hello, bozo. Dude, look at my loot. I'm stacked. Okay, here we go. There's a guy right there. 20. Oh god, Storm is here too. Boxed. I wanna go to zone. Holy. This guy has no chill. 20. 30. Cracked him. I might be dead here. I have no mats. Oh my god, let's go. What's this guy on me? He went into- Oh my. He just ran into the bush to camp. Oh my god, no way. I don't have the mass to build fight this guy. Hit him. Just die, bro. You're so weak. Let's go. There we go. Dude, there's another guy just camping in a bush here. No way. Cracked. Dead, let's go. Oh, it's a 1v1. I have 12 kills, so if I win this, I have a 13 kill win. Dude, where even is this kid? Oh, he's right there. Cracked. I kind of want to clip this guy. Full boxed. Almost, dude. Cracked. Dude, this gun is so OP. Slide. Oh, I missed. Oh, no. Okay, he <laughs> just had the storm. Let's pretend I hit that slide and I got the win.